Imagine going into the office one day a week, you got your ping pong table, you got your catered lunch, you work for a cool, innovative tech company that all of your friends and family have heard of, you receive an automated email from your HR team one day with your W-2 tax returns, not knowing what to expect, although you know you worked hard that year, you look at the screen and you're in disbelief. You just put up $200,000 of annual income. You just put up $300,000 a year of annual income, like I did. Maybe even you put up $400,000 a year in annual income. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the seven highest paying sales jobs, and more importantly, how you can get one. We first need to start with what are the four best industries to work in in sales, the industries that are hiring the most salespeople and that pay salespeople the most. The number one by far is tech sales. And we're gonna focus specifically on software sales, which is a vertical of tech sales. You could also sell hardware as well. Next is pharmaceutical sales. Number three is being a realtor. Number four is medical device sales. The reason why tech sales are the best is because it's the most lucrative financially. From 2021 to 2022, the average tech sales rep made 20% more because there's so much demand for your particular skill set and the tech industry is blowing up. Additionally, if you work in pharmaceutical sales for big pharma selling drugs, you gotta go to a doctor's office and sell them those painkillers. If you work for a real estate agency and you're selling houses, you gotta patrol the streets, walk through the neighborhoods, go in the houses and show them. If you work in medical device sales, you're gonna have to work with doctors, old people, go replace those hips. Those three sales professions, you need to show up on site and that will never change. Whereas in tech sales, you're selling software and it's easier to sell through your computer than it is to go in person, unless you're working really big deals. So if you enjoy working from the comfort of your home in a bit more work-life balance, tech sales is absolutely for you. Bravado analyzed 100,000 data points based on rep feedback, market feedback to determine the seven highest paying sales jobs. Let's take a look at those right now. Before we cover the specific companies, I wanna talk through the tech sales pay structure because it's unique to the profession it follows an OTE methodology, which stands for on-target earnings, meaning your pay could be $500,000 a year of on-target earnings, but you're not guaranteed to make $500,000 a year. It's gonna be comprised of three variables, beginning with base salary, which is your fixed pay you're gonna receive twice a month, your commission, think of this as variable based on your performance, and then your signing bonus slash some sort of stock equity package. That's the exciting part about working in tech sales is these tech companies that's so competitive for the talent, they have to give you equity. So if you started a fast growing private hyper growth software company that eventually gets acquired or goes public, you're gonna have a liquidity event and potentially make a nice little bit of money. And then of course you have your performance and your base salary. The top highest paying sales job is gonna be Google Cloud, total compensation $448,000 a year. The second highest paying sales job is AWS. $422,000 a year. I'm gonna share with you momentarily how you can get to a more senior position even if you don't have any sort of experience. The number three highest paying sales job, Snowflake, $425,000 a year. Number four, Slack, $420,000 a year. Number five, Splunk, $383,000 a year. Number six, Dell, $370,000 a year. On a side note, I interviewed with Dell in college. They flew me out to Boston, did not end up getting the job. Number seven, worked a $368,000 a year. I hope you like looking at big numbers as much as I do. I wanna make a lot of money and I want you to make a lot of money too. As you'll notice, many of the roles we looked at are more senior roles. For example, AWS being an L7, this requires six to 10 years of experience. So most of you watching right now will not just start your sales career in one of these highest paying sales jobs. This is really the pinnacle. This is where you'll get to when you're a bit more senior and you'll have your highest income earning years. Most of you watching right now, if you don't have a degree, if you don't have experience, if you never had an internship like I did, no connections, you'll need to start your software sales career somewhere, most likely as an entry level sales development, business development rep, that's exactly what I did. I started at a fast growing software company without any experience as an SDR one. I promoted six times to a senior account executive. I increased my income from $50,000 to $300,000 a year and tech sales totally transformed my life. So if you're looking for a new career path, if you're looking to break into tech sales, 
I have good news for you. I am the tech sales instructor at Course Careers where I put together the most comprehensive tech sales course on the internet, best value. We have helped confirm 406 students land SDR jobs year to date. So if you are interested in starting a software sales career or just simply want to learn more, I put together a totally free intro course that I think you'll find a lot of value from. Click the first link in the description below to get started. As you navigate next steps in your career, I wanna talk through a couple different strategies for you. You could just start at one of these companies. Ideally, you start your career at Google, you start your career at AWS, you start your career at Snowflake, and then you work your way up because the longer you're at a company, the more effective you'll be able to sell the products. Therefore, you would think the faster you'll be able to promote and the more connections you have. So when you think about the game of politics, you will be connected with all the major players. If you are unable to start at one of the top tier companies, similar to me, I had no chance based on my resume and, and literally never having an internship, you gotta do whatever you can to get in the door at the best possible software company or tech company you can. So the steps I followed is I said, okay, what resources are at my disposal? I go to college right now, I'm in my job search, I'm very clear on my target, I wanna get a sales job in a big city, and I just lucked my way into tech. I went to our career fair, I looked at the 15 companies that fit that criteria, I started interviewing, and then all of a sudden I found myself at a fast growing software company, and then the strategy that I would have followed is promoting my way up, which I did, and then eventually, while I was still employed, applying to one of these companies to then accelerate your career because you have more leverage to find a new role and to really stretch to a bigger job while you are still employed. So I would highly recommend that strategy. Get to the best company you can, try and promote from an SDR to an AE, get some closing experience, and then find yourself in one of these high paying sales jobs. And while you're doing that, there's three key considerations I would encourage you to do. Improve your personal brand, focus on skill development, and then build out your network. Initially with personal brand, identify which social channel do you communicate the best on. I would recommend LinkedIn. I have 32,000 followers on LinkedIn. I'm not a good writer. And I just started posting. I remember in college being forced to create my profile. I had 1,500 connections when I started working. I never posted. And then one day, I just kept seeing all these salespeople post. So I said, I can do that too. So I started documenting my journey. Rather than claiming to be an expert, telling people how to do things, just think about how do I do things? Okay, I don't have a job. How am I trying to find a job? Start documenting your journey, ideally on LinkedIn. I would also recommend TikTok is a great place to grow as well, or perhaps YouTube like you're watching right now. Next, skill development. What skills are holding you back from making more money or landing the job you need? Okay, how do you demonstrate to the employer that you understand prospecting, that you understand how to make a cold call, that you know how to send a cold email? There's a few different ways you can do that, but the best way is to learn from someone who is already doing what you want to be doing. That's why free resources like this one are so effective or going to a place like Course Careers to check out the free intro course, first link in the description below, will teach you everything you need to know in regards to skill development to land your entry level role. And then finally with networking, when you look at getting into one of these high paying sales jobs, there's the front door, which is where you'll go on the company website, you'll go on the LinkedIn page, and you will apply for a job along with hundreds of other auto applies that you'll be in this big pile for. The real way to get these top tier jobs is what we call the back door. So this is taking your personal brand, this is taking your skills, putting it together to then build your network. So by this point, ideally, you will have already connected with people that are at the company, you've identified people in the role you want to be in, you've identified people who are potentially the leader of the role that you would then apply to, you've identified sales leaders, sales managers at that company that can then influence your career. As you start to network with them, connect with them, don't make an ask for their time. Don't say, hey, can I meet with you? Just say, hey, really appreciate what you're doing, inspired by your company and would love to work there one day. Whatever, get connected with them, start liking all their posts, start networking with them, and then eventually work your way into their DM and just say, hey, I've got this one question for you, would love your thoughts if you could type out a couple of sentences for me. You start to get on that connection level and then you can then start to make bigger ask for them. You can say, 
Who specifically is in charge of hiring for this role? Hey, who would be the specific manager for this role? Or like what I've done, you identify these cool companies you wanna work for, you do this work on your own, and then you start to proactively reach out to them yourself and start to build those relationships in real time. Because ultimately, your ability to get in the highest paying sales job is gonna be contingent on your ability to build relationships with the people who can make those decisions and ultimately impact your career. If you found value in today's video, smash the like button now and I will talk to you in the next video.